common question people ask is, should I pay points on a mortgage? And most people's initial reaction, I don't want to pay points. And I understand that, but there are reasons to pay points. Now, I'm going to give you some math. Sorry, it's math, but I'm going to show you the numbers here so you're going to see them. But I'm going to teach you a few things. First of all, if you're having a hard time qualifying because maybe your debt ratio is too high, if you pay points, your payment is lower and maybe you can qualify. If that's the case, you really don't have a choice. Now, if you're refinancing or you have the money and you just want to have a lower payment, let's work with a half a million dollars as an example. Now, I'm not quoting rates in this video, but I'm showing you how it works. Now, at 6% interest, the principal and interest payment would be $29.97 on $500,000. Now, if somebody paid a point, basically that one point is 1% of the loan amount, $500,000, it's $5,000. They pay that $5,000 through the loan when they're closing on the loan. And that would lower the payment to twenty-nine. Uh, 18 a month, basically a savings of 79 bucks a month. Hey, that's good. Now let's go even deeper at 5.5%. It would cost about a point and a half, 1.5 points at $7,500. And it would lower the payment further to 2839 a month. That's a savings of $159 a month. Now at 5.375, it's two points. That's $10,000 and it lowers your payment down to 2,800 a month. Now that's a savings of $197. That's a big deal every month, but let's take a look at some other things to determine if it's worth it. Now, if we take the $5,000 paying one point and you save $79 a month, and if you divide the $79 into the $5,000, It'll take 63 months to get that money back. How, how long do you plan on keeping the house? Well, maybe you're saying, hey, I'm only gonna be here a couple of years. Well, then it doesn't make sense. If you say here, I'm gonna be here 10 years, this is my forever home, it might make sense. Now let's look at five and a half percent, cost $7,500. You save $159. If we divide the 159 into the 7,500, it only takes 47 months. It's basically less than four years to get that money back. That could make a lot of sense. How long are you gonna be in the property again? Now let's look at 5.375, $10,000. Savings is $197 a month. Divide 197 into the 10,000, takes 51 months to get it back. Now, if you're looking at these numbers, I'd say 5.5 is what I call the sweet spot. That's the one that makes the most sense. If you really want to save that extra couple of bucks, you can do that too. But that's the deal with points. Should you pay them? Should you not? How long are you going to be in the house? How long does it take to get it back? That's the only formula that really matters on should you pay points.